Hello guys, good morning. Today I'm gonna be introducing you the new tool that I have developed for scattering houses uh, along a mesh, okay? What is the point of this tool? Uh, it just because sometimes it's hard to fulfill uh, environments, mainly exteriors, uh, with a neighborhood, okay? So you have to model a lot of, thing, of things, placing, uh, choosing the houses to, you know, put in your uh, scene uh, and the surroundings. And sometimes you just need something simple and useful to compose your scene. And most of the time for ArcVis, you don't need a uh, lot of uh, high poly uh, models, okay? Uh, sometimes you just need something that works and it is uh, not that heavy at all because your main project will be the focus and the surroundings will be just composing it. That's the main point of it. And, uh, and these two, for now, I have uh, 10 different houses in North American style. And in this case, uh, the houses are, each house is, uh, it has the materials and textures that if you duplicate the same house, I will, I will show you, uh, the texture change. So that helps even more in creating randomization and a kind of tricky your eye so you don't see repetition on the models. Or at least it help, it help you to not, do not see the repetition. Okay, I'm gonna show you uh, first the tool. The tool is very simple. I think that it's, it, it's super easy to use and that's the point. I just do things uh, that, I, that I believe it works for me in my workflow and then I kind of polish that for you guys. And that's what I did here. I just add that on my asset browser. So that's the tool. The name is Easy House Scattering and the links will be in the description if you want to get the tool. Those will be available uh, at Gumroad or Blender Market. Okay, and let's bring it here. Okay, first thing that happened when you bring it here, you'll see uh, probably it has this okay and you want to bring the entire thing i'm bringing from uh, my asset browser you can append in your scene as well and do whatever you want to bring that for your scene in here in this case i bring from the asset browser so i just need to press ctrl z and then i get everything here inside the layer so basically you have a layer called easy house scatter Okay, and inside Easy House Scatter, you have the Scatter collection. It's just a collection for organization. It doesn't matter if the, the Scatter object is here or not. Okay, and the assets. Inside the assets, you have uh, you have the House Scatter, the small House Scatter, the tree in the bush. Those are the main thing that I did to compose the scene. Okay. Uh, and you can always have access to all the 10 houses here individually, okay? Those are located in the, in the center of your project, right? So if you want to use the houses and you move them from the center around, this means that that will not work with the scatter because of the position of the house. So if you want to use the house individually, I would recommend you just duplicate the house here and put outside the house scatter collection and do whatever you want for the house, with the house, okay? For now, I will just hide the assets at all. And that's my system, okay? And the system is pretty easy. If you render that out, you see that's how the system looks like okay and it's pretty basic you just have a fancy okay the house 
the quality of the house is basic but it's North America American style okay this means that if you duplicate the system let, let let's just do this so you see the house changed the texture uh, automatically okay and that's what's gonna happen all over the scatter as I'm gonna be showing you okay here if you go here to inside your uh, edit polygon and just go extruding the system will be kind of creating variations okay from the houses you have and creating some uh, environment okay out of it and all the houses that you have here will be like randomized and eventually you will have to check it out and see how it look like okay so that's the system for now that's what you get okay here there's no mystery on that that's easy okay and all the houses are here inside the scatter elements okay so let's use this to create a neighborhood the tool has uh, it has just those simple options here okay what are those options about if you want to have just the house for some reason so you have your own lane or your, your, own, your own soil in your own environment you just want the house okay scatter you just need to press only houses okay and then you have just the houses and not everything will be deleted okay but you can delete items uh, isolated for example if you don't want the fancy here you just need to no fence so you have no fences uh, no sidewalk trees the sidewalk trees are the trees that are surrounding the main scatter okay and if you don't want them you can delete them if you don't want the, uh, no ground if you can delete them as well and no bushes no bushes no trees okay right and also there is this tool which I think it's very handy right if you kind of let's darken the environment a bit okay uh, you have the interiors on and off that is a tool right that helps you to do some interior for night shots or at least for for you to fake that you have something going on inside the house okay that's uh, it's important to know that those are not real interior so there's no real furniture inside so it's a kind of a tricky right for your eyes that works for most of the composition and because the way it's built it seems that there is something going on inside the house as you paint as you go up and down it's not open shade language so it's not that fancy but still it works for lots of cases in my opinion okay let's turn it on and see what's gonna happen okay so here we go you have the interiors on and the interiors are also uh, random okay the way the houses are distributed is random if I copy them here you will see what it's gonna happen okay you can tell the interiors are not the same okay and you have random uh, curtains inside okay it works for for far away or middle distance and people are not gonna really be paying attention on what's going on inside this house that's not the main thing of the project and if it's a daylight so it's still it look like there's something is going on inside the house okay I think that's a very handy tool it's up to you to use it or not and uh, if you don't, don't want to use that's fine okay let's delete this guy go back and 
and change our interiors to off so we don't have the interiors you see no interiors anymore okay let's create a scene to see how handy that could be i will be using uh, easy road generator which is also available on gumroad and blender market as well okay and uh that's it let's see how it goes and uh, i will be using as well the easy traffic generator also available on gumroad and the market okay okay for now let's uh, just put this scatter system aside okay and bring the easy road generator okay that's maybe not the best version let's see anyway that works okay we press ctrl z ctrl z now we have roads generator the lanes the assets i just need the road okay not the lanes i'm not going to be working with the lanes today uh, let's just create some uh, environment here all right all right let's get this 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 delete and space okay let's bring it something like this mm, maybe something like this here this here okay something like here mm. okay let's me me give uh, Let's give a, a road out of the city. Okay, maybe this, like this, maybe something like this. And leave the city. Right? Right. Seems good, but the geometry is inverted, so let's invert it now it's fine okay that's what we have so now we just grab any face bring it here separate from the system take it this guy bring it down do something like this maybe okay yeah, maybe something like this okay convert that into just sidewalk now we have just sidewalk here okay something like this maybe like this okay this guy here I will be creating some random Let's turn off the, the lamp posts so we have less things to worry about. Okay, and maybe something like this. Okay, and one more time. Okay, and in this case, this guy. We will do this like this. Okay. We are good. It seems in these two parts, no. Okay, the sidewalk is doing well. Everything is working well. Okay. You can see that's a large scene. Okay, that's a large scene. Right? Right. Okay. In this case now we're gonna pick up these guys here as you know for who that know the two already we just copy 
this guy and here we put the curves only okay so we don't want the sidewalk we just oh, we just want the planter okay not the curves the planter here we go that's what we need okay so far so good let's convert that into mesh select everything fill put it down something like this works well it works awesome okay now let's let's do some uh, for the in this case let's uh, just limit the solve that tool is here I just added to my quick shortcuts so now we have uh, my mesh is limited so I like simplified the mesh a lot here now okay in this case let's just start to do some uh, cutting out in our mesh okay here maybe here something like this okay something like this okay maybe something like this okay just enter awesome now we will select these guys and maybe subdivide them a bit subdivide one two three four maybe five I don't know up to you okay let's do the same here uh, let's maybe here we go something like that okay that seems good and here for those guys I will subdivide once these guys I will leave it like this okay I will subdivide them once okay I don't know if the houses will be fine here but who knows let's see let's open a bigger range here this house is not doesn't look good here now uh, let's oops let's do this okay and here we go here we go let's subdivide more these guys let's subdivide this maybe yeah something like this okay okay now we have our mesh here we will just let's take this guy here take the mesh take this guy and join ctrl g okay now we have our house scattered all over the place and then we will check if uh, the final result is what we want okay if it's not what we want we have to adjust the the edges of our, of our system right probably here this house is going too much there so we can just here to fit more the house here in this case okay we can adjust the system as much as we want so our house can be more uh, organized okay or let's say we have systems here so we can bring it both and expand it a bit like this okay I may have subdivided too much I may have subdivided a bit of the too much here and in this case I will be deleting this 
two guys here. I think here we are uh, kind of so so. Uh, okay. Yeah, in this case, I will select this guy here, delete, press Ctrl X just to dissolve. Okay, so now we have some range for the uh, better range. Okay, but still is a bit too much. Let this delete these two guys here. Take these two. Expand it a bit. Okay. Bring this guy here. The good thing is that you have control, and that's always a good thing. Okay, having control of what's going on. Let's delete this. You can bring it here a bit. Here. Okay. We can fit the house where they supposed to be. Okay. Something like this. We can take these two guys and kind of bring it here to make some give it some margin. Okay. For the housing to breathe a bit. It's important. Okay, something like this. All right. Here we can take this guy here, adjust here, here. Okay. Hmm. Seems fine. Look at this up here. Okay. Okay, it seems good now. Here. Maybe that's too much up there. Maybe in here, something like this. Okay. We can maybe remove some of these guys. Bring this housing here. Okay. It seems we are getting pretty good shape, right? Alright, in this case I will delete this. Okay. Bring this one here. B, this one here. Yeah. Okay. And you can go, oops, organizing your scene. So basically what you have to do is you have to have all your houses like inside the square. That's the main thing. Okay? because the fence and everything will be generated by this part like inside this part all right so this i will just move this right here okay it seems that we are doing great now doing great huh? look at that yeah okay this one doesn't seem good enough. We bring it here. Bring it here. Okay. Maybe just delete this guy here. Alright. We can even bring this guy here. This guy be here. Okay. Here we go. Just right, so now we can take this guys, bring it all the way here. Okay, it seems that we have a nice scatter system here. Okay, so now that's very much what you have here in your scene. And then you let's bring it back all the elements, the fences. Now we have fences going on. Uh, the soil, the ground. 
de in this case this house here this fence is not doing the best job let's bring it here okay bring the trees back bushes and trees okay that's what we have here so if we render this out the way it is now that's the scene okay Let's put some more interesting sunny day, maybe 25, okay, and maybe 25, something like this, all right, and uh, let's see how it goes, try to render this out and see how it will look like. environment using the tool and you get a nice renderization let's see how it goes and it renders the good thing is that it renders like kind of quick you know because it's there is no high poly mesh and that okay and those details here you can do fixing like I showed you doing the fixing on, on the on the poly level okay you can go changing the vertices and everything else to, to make just to make sure that everything fits accordingly okay and that's pretty much it my friend yeah so you can get these two the gum road and blender market and of course I will recommend you a good practice would be because as soon as you put everything back, okay, let's see, as soon as you put everything back, all your system is now uh, kind of heavy to play around with. And the thing, will, the thing that I would advise you would be to edit the fences and the houses will be, uh, leave it just the house and then you go here and you edit. Okay, so now you have to make your houses like fit a little bit more here so the fences doesn't go through. Okay, and that's what I would do. Okay, or don't have these at all and have just one rule of uh, houses here, like just doing these, so you have just one room of houses which is kind of okay as well if that's what you want and but that's it I will show you just one more tool which is the which is the night shot the interiors on and off in this case I will just to make sure remove the middle house here maybe here well okay uh, all right let's bring it back a road generator let me get the house 
in the verb generator and in this case let's put the house more like this all right so we don't have that much space we delete this bring this guy here Just select this guy, these guys, and then here we may do something more visible. So we make sure everything will fit. Okay, now we bring it here. Okay, I'm kind of screw these guys down a bit. Bring it here. These guys here. Okay. Try to make it a bit shorter. Shorter street. This guy bring this guy here and then make it shorter. Okay. When we make it shorter, bring it here. Okay. Now we have an environment, so we put everything back again. The streets and the fences and everything okay but now let's say we want to have the interiors on so for a nice shot or whatever if we go here and put the sun down minus five maybe or something like this and we can go to the system and turn the interiors on then you will have uh, the houses with uh, the interiors kind of faking more or less that is something going on inside let's render this out and see how it goes let's see You see, you have the interiors on, right? So you have everything. It seems that the houses are, there are life, life going on inside the houses, okay? Yeah, so I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to subscribe the channel if you like it or if you want to be more updated with everything else that is happening in this channel and the updates of my products and uh, click thumbs up if you like it or thumbs down if you don't like it and that's it see you next time